Hello everybody, good morning. Today is Monday the 26th of April 2021 and this is today's short assembly. This half term we're thinking about being brilliant. So I just thought I'd remind you what being brilliant looks like at Summerswood. Being brilliant is about doing everything that needs to be done without being asked and then producing something fantastic. So I'm not expecting your teachers to have to remind you about our three school rules. Take a pause for a minute and remind us what are our three school rules. That's right, it's be kind, be safe and be involved. And all of these things are part of being brilliant. When you do something a little bit extra, so a piece of writing, so for example, last week I had a young man from class 3R come and show me his story that he'd written. His handwriting was excellent and there was more writing on the page than I've ever seen him do. That is brilliant. Something a little bit more. It could be an artwork where perhaps your previous pieces of art haven't been that brilliant, but this time you've really understood it and you've really done it without any adult support. So this week, that's what I'm looking for again. I'm looking for children who are doing everything that needs to be done. I'm looking for children who are trying their best to be brilliant. We all need a bit of help sometimes from our grown-ups, but we're looking for that fantastic outcome, fantastic PE, fantastic maths work. Maybe on a day where you found the maths really difficult, but you didn't give up. You just kept going to show your brilliance. So this week, who can show me something brilliant? I can't tell you how much I love to see children come to my office or if I'm called over to your classroom to see brilliant work. I'll be bringing a camera so I can take your picture so everybody in our school knows who's been brilliant and why. And that's really important. I want you to be able to tell me why you have been brilliant. Your teachers may know and they may tell you, but I want you to think about the process you've been through on that piece of learning to be brilliant. So your thinking time today is thinking perhaps about something in the past that you've done really well. It could be something at home, could be something in school, could be something at one of the clubs you belong to. But thinking about what does brilliant look like and what can you do this week to be brilliant? Have a really good week, everybody. I'm looking forward to seeing some fantastic pieces of learning. Have a lovely day. Hello, Summersward. I'm back again this week to announce last week's Summersward um, Times Table Rockstars of the Week. Um, this week, I have picked the two children who have um, earned the most coins for their or points, sorry, for their class in Battle of the Bands. So I've got one for lower school, one for upper school. Um, it is great to see how many children are getting online and practicing. So please keep going because your class has the chance to win up until Friday. It doesn't finish till Friday evening. And I will announce the winners of Battle of the Bands next Monday. So please do keep going with that. And um, please do keep trying your hardest each day. And you should be doing three minutes at least um every day after school before school whenever suits you at home but make sure you are doing at least three minutes of times table practice so i'm going to announce the winners and i'm going to start with upper school first um so the winner this week for upper school has earned the most points for their class during the Battle of the Band since it started on Monday last week. Um, they have a lot more points, thousands and thousands of points compared to the children below them in the in the um, leaderboard. So well done to this child. This child has also been a times table rock star before, so they are still trying super hard and still practicing as much as they can. So upper school's times table rock star this week is. Anushka in 6E, well done Anushka, and um, you will have a certificate there for you to take home, so well done to you. And then lower school, so years 1, 2 and 3, um, have, they've been doing really well this week and they have also got the most points in the leaderboard for the lower school battle of the bands. Um, a couple of thousand more points than the other children below them. So they have been trying super hard and have been on a lot more than three minutes every day. So well done to this child. And this child is called 
Josiah into Nightingale. So well done to you, Josiah. So well done, Anushka. Well done, Josiah. You have managed to beat the Timetable Rockstars this week. Um, and I look forward to seeing if you continue to put so much effort into Battle of the Bands this week as you did last week. So well done to you. And please, everyone, do remember Battle of the Bands carries on until Friday. And then I will be announcing the two year groups that have won the lower school and upper school Battle of the Bands. And they'll be able to vote for a prize that they would like. Thank you for everybody who's been going on. And if you haven't been on Times Table Rockstars yet, please do make sure you start to log on and practice your Times Tables. Thank you for listening, Summer's Word. Bye.